Hello and welcome to Textless. But before we start this video, this video was made possible by CyberDrive. At the checkout, use James5 to get 10% off. So today I will be showing you how to get files off a broken MacBook. So let's get started. Also, just a quick um, disclaimer before we start, that this tutorial will apply to basically all MacBooks, MacBook Airs, MacBook Pros, MacBook Pros Retinas, um, but it'll be slightly different for old mechanical drives and SSDs, but it'll be mainly similar. Also, this is only for if you're MacBook logic dies or so you can't start up or whatever, not if the hard drive dies. Also all of these processes process will be you will have to open your MacBook up so if it's still under warranty and dies go to the Apple store first. If it's not, well then you can follow this tutorial. So let's move over and show you. So I will be showing you on a 2009 MacBook Pro, but like I said it's pretty similar for all of it. So what you will need is a just a Phillips head screwdriver and that's it. So what we need to do is we need to flip the MacBook over. Also don't mind screws missing and everything. I've been working on this lately. So there's two different screw sizes. Up the top along here we've got we've got some long ones. Um, and then al along the rest, we got some small ones. So we'll take the back panel off. So this is a look at the logic board. So first thing we'll do is make sure you um, get your fingernail and just pry up the battery connector, it'll then just go like that, so then the battery is unplugged. So now we'll go over to the hard drive bit. Okay, so over at the hard drive here, what we need to do is we just need to remove this little sled here which has a few screws in it. So once the screws are out, um, once the screws are out, the sled will come out. So now they're taking off the sled. Get this little tab from the hard drive, bring it up. Unplug this, which is just the data cable. So now we'll move over to the next part. So now that you got the hard drive out, there's a few different options to recover your data. Option A is a, a drive caddy like this. So you will just slot your drive into or which will come up on screen now you can get a enclosure um, doesn't ma matter either way really also to bear in note if you do get one of these that you have to make sure it's compatible with two and a half, half inch drives because like this one, it's very hard to get a two and a half harsh in drive in because of the way the connectors are positioned. So just keep in mind that. So now we will switch over to the computer part. So if you've got a Windows PC, it's slightly harder, but it is still pretty easy. So you'll need a piece of software called Paragon's HFS Plus for Windows 10. So it is a paid program. You can get a 10 day trial though. So if you only want to just transfer data from it once, then you can just get the trial. So. Once you have gone through the installer, all you need to do is plug in your drive reader 
and then I'm going to use, use a USB for example because my my enclosure does not support the hard drive so it's the exact same pretty much so plug your USB stick in it should recognize it and then all you need to do is go into your USB drive and then I will have up on screen now where you've got to go and then you copy that over to a a place that's going to support that much files because remember you you probably don't want the apps you probably just want the files so um, yeah up on screen now it should show you where to go so now we will head over to the Mac and I'll show you what to do okay so on Mac it is basically similar to Windows except you don't have to install any extra software so I'm going to use a USB for example again you plug it in um, RSX will take a, a tad to recognize it so then come up for me I've got partition two ways um, okay so that's how you do it it's actually pretty simple so I just repeat that again so you open up the back of the MacBook you take out the hard drive or SSD get your enclosure for it just search it up on eBay to get one go install whatever plug it in if you plug it into Mac just navigate straight to it if you plug it into a PC get the Paragon software trial go in there get it straight off simple copy it to a drive that has enough storage on it and you've just recovered um, stuff off your MacBook pretty simple so guys hope you liked it thanks for watching like subscribe and I'll see you next one bye